Hello my dear friends, today I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look. Simple, easy, but chic. Okay, let's start off with preparing our skin. Uh, for me I had to remove some makeup which stayed after um, yesterday, uh, which is under my eyes. Sometimes I can't get to the lash line when I'm removing my makeup in the night, so I have to do that before I apply the next makeup so as you can see I'm using micellar water micellar water <laughs> um, to remove the makeup from yesterday yeah so once I'm done with that I'm gonna jump in the skin care this is a moisturizer uh, it's a eco moisturizer it doesn't have any sulfates silicones anything so my skin is very prone to um, have pro it's very problematic I can say so I really have to mind the products I'm using and this product here gives me very nice bright look and it's a pretty good base for the foundation which I'm gonna be applying next and um, I have really not seen any downside to this moisturizer and um, talking about where to find it I don't know because it's Russian brand and you can find it only in Russia so as you can see the um, how do you say it's very it's very thick and you can see it as a white layer on my face but later it becomes more buttery and buttery <laughs> it becomes more easy to, to to apply it this is eye patches these are eye, eye patches um i use them every morning sometimes in the evenings as well if my skin around my eyes feels dry so i stick them on and walk around with them on for like 15 20 15 to 20 minutes sometimes longer sometimes shorter depends on how much time I'm having on hands so after I apply them I will turn off the camera for some time because you know it will be too long to wait for them to work <laughs> they work pretty good they work pretty good I like them okay we are back with some snacks <laughs> it's time to remove the patches and it's such a good feeling always it feels like a mini spa session <laughs> so I distribute a product on my on the skin around my eyes and I start foundation applying applying foundation sorry I do it with beauty blender and before that I wet my beauty blender because that's when it works the best not when it's dry when it's dry it will absorb all the product you're trying to put on your face so wet your beauty blender before blending your foundation okay we have started the process here you will see the technique I'm using I've never learned how to apply makeup and um, the, the application is something that I found works best for me I've tried to apply makeup my makeup uh, with my fingers and I've tried to apply it with my hands on uh, with a um, dry um, beauty blender and this method seems to be working the best on me uh, don't forget to blend your foundation to your neck because you don't want the harsh line from your face going to your neck you don't want people to see the difference yes and make sure you blend the product very well and make sure there is no feeling of mask around your hairline around your neck Make sure everything is blended and pretty. Okay, we are going to the next step, which is brows. Yep, I've been using this palette for two years now. 
it doesn't want to finish and i'm okay with that so the application of product is the way you see it right just a brush and you know i've never been obsessed with my brow products i was just using this brow tint not even tint tint eyeshadow i guess i don't know and it's been working pretty good for me as you can see i've got thick brows and i don't really need much of product and much work done with them if you noticed i don't really have so much makeup because i feel like you don't need so much for day-to-day -day life and you can work with few you have this palette right here i'm doing sculpturing and eyeshadow with it as you can see it's already almost done i've also been using it uh, for over two years and it's pretty good the price was not so high the brand is pupa and the brows palette brand is russian brand i don't know here i'm going i'm passing around my eyes just to create that uh, deep eyes look <laughs> and also i don't forget about the under eyes because you want your eyes to look balanced you can't apply eyeshadow on top of the eyes and forget about the bottom of your eyes you see everything needs to be balanced by the way don't mind my voiceover i don't know the, i i'm trying this for the first time and i feel awkward i sound awkward so bear with me you can just turn off the sound and put on some music <laughs> don't do that okay here i'm using brush for sculpturing my face i don't know what's my problem but when i'm home and i'm putting on makeup i don't notice how much product i apply on my cheeks in house in the house it looks like a little bit but when you go outside for example in the mall and you pass by a mirror you actually see how much product you've applied and you're like oh crap that's too much but again i love me some good sculpturing of course blush i love blush i think it adds so much um life to your face somehow camera stopped recording and i re realized it after i was done with my one eye this mascara is everything this mascara works magic and it doesn't make my eyelashes clumpy or sticky or it doesn't get it doesn't fall off your eyelashes under your eyes it just sticks to them and makes them long and voluminous everything you need and it's like around three dollars or something the brand is vivian sabo i'll show you up close i don't know if you can find it somewhere where you're watching from because i'm in russia and here the brand is known i'm showing you my lashes how long they've become yeah the brand is from europe so if you find it in your area i'll be happy definitely suggest you that mascara we're going for the lips again the brand is something russian i don't know i didn't even check honestly it doesn't even matter just find something for this look find some lip shade which is very close lip shade what lipstick shade which is very close to your lip shade and when you're overlining your lips uh try to make the overlining look as natural as possible and not overdone of course okay at this point we are done with makeup adding on earrings lately i've been loving hoops small hoops big hoops and then after this we are done with our face for the hairstyle i've decided to go with whatever i was having on my head the bun 
And now it's time to get the clothes. It's pretty cold here, so you gotta be warm. Adding some shoes. And of course, a coat because we're still in winter. I've been loving this coat very much. It's perfect for transitioning season like from winter to spring or from autumn to winter. And of course my bag. And we are done. Ready. Ready to go. Okay guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. So much? So much. <laughs>